Oh, well, look what it is again. How many times have I done a video of this game now? I don't know. Dragon Dreams A Taste of Adventure HD shining in the corner there. Look, it's got like three more colours on the title screen. Oh. Anyway, yeah. This is um 1.6 update and it fully colorizes the world. Um I also added a low HP beep because that's in that's in the main game so I figured I might as well port it over if that's the right term. And also there's a new mod. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I think I'll do another video tomorrow. Um I think the current plan is this is going to be uploaded on Saturday, and then I can do this on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, that's just a very silly mode. Fills the game with glitches, graphical and audio anomalies, simulating a corrupt game. Very much inspired by Vine Source and stuff, but, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, I guess we won't have Travel Buddy on for now. We'll have him on in the corrupted one for extra mold. But yeah, we're going to do the usual. And yeah, that's about it that's new there. Look! Oh yeah, the little loading indicator, because loading times have increased a little bit. Although for some reason loading times decreased again after I added it, just to take the P. Anyway, yeah. This took, I don't know how long. I think I did it, pardon me, I think I did it like over the course of a couple weeks, two or three weeks. But that wasn't working on it every day. The menus are all the same still, it's just the world itself. Because I fig I thought the um the menu looks nice because it kinda stands out even more now. But yeah. While I did enjoy the original style, like the whole point of it was I was going for a, a very minimalistic style and I liked the way the the what colours there were popped out nicely on the black background, especially the water, very vibrant blue. I also kind of like this, sort of upgrading it to a SNES look. Oh, look at it! If you want to play this update, by the way, I guess in the in the video description there'll be links to the usual places, my like Google Drive, Game Jolt, Itch.io, where you can download them. Um, at the point of recording this, it does currently get detected as a false positive by virus scanners. Uh, I promise it's not. That's uh, like even I I had to add an exception for it, but. Apparently that's something that was caused by the latest update to the program that I used to make this. And apparently it's been a common problem for many years. Um, if you want to research it yourself, you can probably Google, like, Click Team False Positive or something. That's how I found out about it, that it was a common problem. But yeah, for now, let's get going. I'm also doing one for Christmas Nightmare, so I'll probably be making that available on November 30th or 31st, whatever there is in November, I don't remember. Oh, look at it. It may not be as, like, extreme vibrant blue anymore, but I just love how this turned out. It looks really nice. Surprisingly nice. Whoa. The same combination of enemies. There's only two enemies in this game. Two enemy types. That still happens, like sometimes when you attack a chest, sometimes it doesn't register the hit. It doesn't really matter, it's just more of a, a weird, slight annoyance. Oh look. Slight annoyance than anything. Doesn't really... Oh, doesn't really matter, but... It just annoys me that I don't know why that happens. Because the programming is when the attack hitbox is overlapping the chest and it's like, hit animation is not currently playing. It's supposed to register as a hit, so uh, why does it sometimes not register the hitbox overlapping it? Another ghost! At least that means they're all gonna be spent already. Lovely. New gate design. You haven't seen the best of door in the game yet though. Um, remember the the door in the water dungeon. I love how that door turned out. I actually designed that one on live stream with some input from chat. That was a fun stream, working on some of these graphics while while chatting and stuff. What are you chatting, mate? But yeah, I want to try and take a 
take a few moments here and there to just take a look rather than whizzing through it. We can whiz through it when I do the Corrupted modifier. It's amazing. It will also be in the Christmas one, but I probably won't do a video of it there. Maybe. But yeah, um, I did, uh, I did, as you might have noticed, I left the, like, characters and enemies and stuff pretty much untouched. Because I wanted important objects to pop out. And these didn't have a black outline in the first place, but me... Ah, wooden doors. Don't they look nice? Doors have character now. But yeah, the slimes. Chests. At one point, I I thought I would leave black outlines, but but nah. Oh. Oh yeah, pots as well. I also thought I might leave them with their black outlines, but but also nah. Ah. But yeah, she's still got a black outline, same colours. Oh. Oh, thanks, Bridge. Also, these kind of fires don't hurt you anymore, because they're in a stone basin, so they're not supposed to. Why did they ever hurt you? I don't know. Oh, right, There's, there is something else I want to show as well. With this HD update, uh, I improved the lighting, and it looks really nice. If you played the darkness modifier before, you could put out fires, but the light would still be there because I didn't want to have to program for like every single fire having its own unique light effect that would turn on or off depending on the fire state. But now I've done it differently. Not only is it more convenient, it looks very nice as well. I will show you, probably at the end of this run, just real quick. Did I talk to her? I hope so. I think you only have to walk up to the desk. Oh no, not you. I ain't got any gems yet. There are still some like graphical weirdnesses, like I guess this. There's very clearly like a, a big black area behind this wall, which doesn't look very good, but... It's fine, it's supposed to be a weird little back passage. Oh! can't see it yet, but actually I guess I won't have to do a darkness thingy. I can just show you those fires. I'll get the fire power at some point. Oh right, it's randomised. I was wondering why I didn't have a key yet, or a weapon for that matter. God! Forget killing enemies for now. Let's try and find me a weapon. That's not a weapon. That is a key, though. Ah! I'll take that if you don't mind. That'll speed things along nicely. Bloop! There were other things that I considered changing for this version. Like... Maybe adding in some other gameplay things from later games, sort of like instead of having <clears throat> instead of having enemies sometimes drop the uh, magic gems because I don't like the RNG of it. It's annoying when you're trying to upgrade your magic to be able to do something, but you have to wait until you get a lucky drop. Um, I was considering just putting those in the world somewhere, but I think that would have been too much of a change for now. You know, this is how this version of the game is. Oh. Or rather, this entry in the series. And we can change that in later games. Just like in the Christmas one. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a fist run. I can't be asked to get the feet for, like, not upgrading any weapons, but... Maybe a fists only run. I don't think I've done that on video yet. Why not? That does mean not using any magic on enemies though. Which is fine because I usually don't do that anyway. Oh, don't you worry, we'll be doing that plenty in the corrupted run. Wave magic a plenty. You'll see why. 
Um, goblin wizards are a good, oh, a good source of magic gems, but it's a bit dark in here. Look at the lighting. Isn't it nice? Never mind, apparently they're not a good source. I can't see you, mate. It's all nice and soft. It's still just a little bit too well hidden, really, isn't it? No. No, it isn't. It's fine. Also, these aren't randomised anymore. If you choose, like, the one that randomises all the grass and bushes and all that. Because why? There's no reason for them to be randomised, because all they're going to do is get in the way, potentially. Boom! Oh yeah, since I last recorded a video of this, I also did a no-hit run. Um, that's uploaded over on Piece of Pie Live, because I live-streamed that. It only took two attempts. It's good fun. Except when I was like... When I almost took damage in the final boss, and my reaction was like, Bleh! as I dodged, dodged a shot. Unfortunately, there's no achievement for doing a no-hit run. So, whoa, what was that? Don't get your hopes up. It was probably a computer. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh. Goodbye. get a weapon one day, perhaps. Ah, look! A glimpse at the water dungeon. I love how the floor tiles turned out in that. Looks like a swimming pool. Or a Roman bathhouse, as somebody said in chat. Can someone break this for me? No. Man, I've got, like, nothing so far. Literally, mate. There's another key. That means all three of them are out in the world. I think I've seen all three now. Ah, the music. I feel like the rocks maybe still look a bit boring, but the fires look better. It's nice. Don't go over the fire, you silly lava slime. You're just showing off. Chest. Which I can't reach. Oh. Then they go and tease me with a weapon that I can't get to yet. There's the door. The water dungeon door. Doesn't it, doesn't it look nice? Yes, it does. Now it's gone. I killed it forever. Who's in here? I don't know. Must be a... An enemy standing in the darkness over there. Man, this music was already amazing before, but now the dungeon is amazing to go with it. I guess I'll have that now. I've got a gold touch. Oh, and I got a gold, uh, magic... Oh, I got three, apparently. Never mind, I thought that was the first one I got. Oh. Bloody water. Making it impossible to dodge. I guess I'll go get that chest after killing the bats. Oh. I guess the fire ones have five health. I always think they have four. The spikes were one of the ones that I thought weren't going to turn out very good. And the ice spikes in the Christmas game. I'm still not too happy with them so far, but you'll see. I guess maybe I'll change them by then. It's hard to make blue ice spikes stand out on blue ice. But I think I did a good thing. Kind of made them shine a bit. Shimmer. Whoa! Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, still got to buy keys as well. Six of them. 
I've done so many runs of this. Oh, oh no. Well, I can't do the no death run now, can I? I do have a key. Maybe in the chest down here we can get float souls. Who's over here? No. Well, unfortunately, we've got a forced death here because I can't get out. I never think of that until it's too late. Can't get out unless you have a hammer or something. Alright, I don't have Sky Crystal yet, so we're going to have to manually walk back to town. What have we got up here? Money chest or a mimic. Let's go pick up our spells. Ass spells. Yep, we can get both rather easily, in fact. Shall I get an upgrade? I don't know, I'm considering doing the level 1 fists. It doesn't matter, does it? There's no point. There we go. Right, we've bought three keys. Let's go to that cave and rescue the the um, villager. Shall we? Oh! I think we shall. Oh, I don't have any more gems. I can't get that. I wouldn't mind having waves so I can start breaking rocks, but... Dash is still just too fun as well. There we go. Damage. Just don't use fire on any enemies. Otherwise it'll be ruined. Or anything else, actually, for that matter. Oh. Oh yeah, the money was changed as well, as you might have noticed by now. And I ain't got enough mana. I want to go get an item behind the bushes. I've got a few keys, let's do that. And a... Whoa. Yum. And another magic gem for my troubles. Where are all the mimics? I guess I could go get that actually, because I can just rest at the temple. <clears throat> Oops. Whoa. I'm still not super happy, or completely happy, with the balancing of the magic. Like, it's expensive, and you don't get enough mana restoration stuff, but I guess you do. Well, we're here, might as well just to make sure. Ba, ba, ba. Whoa, dead already just from plus two damage fists or whatever. Right, here we are. Are you ready to see the fire? Oh, look at it! Flickery! And I made sure that the fire still reaches enough range so that you can see that there are indeed spikes just at the edge of the light area. Whoop. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. You can safely walk into them now, even though there is fire at the top there, but... It's always a bit annoying in the past, trying to avoid all the fire in here as well as the spikes, but now you can just happily walk into them. There we go, you can only just see this one, or these ones. Ah! Oh! God, he didn't have dash boots. Ow, dash boots this time. He had even more important boots. What a lad! Or whatever. Now we can get another mana upgrade. I might as well do this while I'm here as well. Just don't walk into my ice, please. Ah! Is that good? I guess so. I 
Good, I'll just quickly go get that, because I'll just revive at the temple. Or I could just not die at all. Oh, and you get to sample the boot. It's about as annoying as all low health beeps. But it's fine. There's an option to turn the sound off, but you it still leaves the wobbly effect around the heart. Ba -ba. Right. Now we can start making waves, getting some keys. I don't have any yet. Good. We get to look at those gates a bit longer. Boo! What we got in here today? All the upgrades. That was a very valuable room, that was. Oh yeah. I wasn't too sure about the colour of these walls. But I guess they look alright. You know, it's supposed to be like a, a magical temple ground area. So I guess sort of a, a magical blue glow to it. Not a glow, but... Hugh. Oh, hi. Hugh Grant. Ah. Cheers. Yum. Shall I get some stuff down here? Wait, I've got a sky crystal. Might as well, might as well go back and buy the rest of my keys now. Just so that we're ready for the world. Yeah, ready for action. Yeah, only barely. Does this cost three? No, oh, it is two. Oh yeah, I was considering adding in the um, sell function as well, that the later games have, so you can sell any, like, ore or keys that you don't want, but, but nah. 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 Fine, don't drop any money. Are there two ghosts here? Yes. Oh, I thought these were unchanged, but no, the other one is a spear, man. Ah, uh, ah, finally. A weapon. Strangely, one of the hardest parts of colorizing this world, and everything, or well, maybe not hard, but tedious, was you see these, like, corners here? How they're kind of rounded? Doing that took a bit. Because, you see, before, the corners were, were all filled in with blackness. Because you couldn't see them anyway. Because they were on a black background. But now that they're coloured, uh, most of these corners had to be filled in manually, sort of. I don't know how to explain it. And sometimes these walls, because they're long, they're long sections, sometimes they were sticking out. So I had to like readjust a bunch and pay attention to all the corners in the world to make sure they looked good. It was very meticulous, or whatever. There was a lot of slow, slow paying attention that I had to do. Shall I kill one of you? Can you kill these? Yes. Obviously. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm in I'm in play mode. I didn't, didn't even mention the look of the dungeon. It's rather nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is, I guess so. I like it anyway. Ah. Oh. oh, perfect. grass growing on gravel, or whatever the hell. That's fine though, because weeds do grow through gravel, don't they? Or whatever it is, just like dusty stone or something. But yeah, ni nice diamond-shaped tiles. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to do this, because in the main game, it'll help me sort of give them many different areas more life, make them stand out and look unique. Oh, finally. Because in the main game it's going to be a 
bunch of different themed areas hinted at by the signs in this game. You know, you've got Spirit Wood over there, the Drowned Valley over there. So they're going to have different themes. Wait, why is the red slime not taking damage to the lava? Oh no, oh well. It should be, because I think green slimes do. Oh! Oh yeah, I also added some sound variants, like pitch variants or whatever. Oh, no, I don't need to dash over that anymore. Wait, don't tell me the red slime isn't taking damage to the lava because I have got the lava thing. Probably not. That would be a funny, a funny programming oversight, wouldn't it? If you can call it programming. Ah. We can upgrade our fists if we so choose. Someday. Uh, we might have enough now. Probably don't have enough money for it yet. And again, it is level 3 already. How we doing? Doing good! Die, Bowman. Yeah, that was a mimic. I was wondering why I didn't get it while I was here. Uh, I can get that now, actually, if I'm rather lucky. I am. There's no luck involved. Just sometimes it, it's a bit dodgy to hit the button with the fireball. Because of the hitbox and stuff. Ba 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 ba. Ah. Now we can get this as well. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that was a rubbish payout, wasn't it? Die. Right. We can afford wave as well, but there's no point now. Oh. Oh, I'm two pennies short. Oh, hello. You heard me. You heard my cries for Dosh. Now I'm bloody... Oh, I got a hundred from that. Ah! Now you get to enjoy this annoying noise. Is it annoying? No, it's fun. And another gem. Right, we can start getting the keys now. We've gotten everything but. Just don't accidentally leave the hammer out. Ah, isn't it good? Into Highland, where the Christmas game takes place. Boo. One down. Have I even seen any stone mimics yet? I think I've seen a few wooden ones now. Right, we can get this money chest. If you really want. Ah, destruction. Luckily the Christmas game, like, is a bit faster to make than this one. Because obviously I've got all the assets that I can mostly just carry over. There are some new ones that I have to do, like the aforementioned ice spikes. Yeah, aforementioned. Good word, that is. I might as well get this while I'm here, before I go around there. How can you dash on water? How do you have the footing for it? Bye, lads. Oh. Oh yeah, this is just a money chest. I was wondering why there was no exclamation mark on the map. 
but that's exactly why. The point of this video is kind of over now. You've seen the colours. There is still the boss, obviously. But the boss itself looks the same still. Just the arena is different. Oh. And there's even more that you're not seeing, like the extra traps, they've been coloured. Not that there's really much to them in the first place, but the spike balls have white spikes and a silver ball. It all just looks rather nice really, doesn't it? I like it anyway. The lava is mostly the same, it's just a slightly different shade and it's got some smoothing of the colours, the, the orange or the red or whatever, to stand out a bit. Stay away bats, I don't want to accidentally hit you. Not with the hammer anyway. What was up here? Up the lava waterfall. Mimic or money? Money. Oh, there's a stone mimic. Ow. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if dashing into enemies counts as not punch damage. I wonder if I thought of that. Hmm. I think I might have dashed into an enemy at some point. Well, if I don't have the feet by the end of this, we know why. In fact, let, let's confirm it. Let's find out together. Oh. Ow. What a fool. What a fool. God, HD edition, huh? Obviously you didn't HD the AI. No, why would I? They're goblins, they're stupid. Goblins aren't allowed to be HD. And one, or I guess two more items, because there can't be three items in the temple grounds. Oh yeah, I remember. The hardest puzzle in the game. Even though it's a basic Zelda block pushing puzzle. Okay, no, I was using fist. I was about to say, oh, careful, lurker. Ah, just showing up in front of me like that when I'm attacking a chest. But it's alright. Hitting him wouldn't have mattered. Right, then it's time for the boss. We got a lot of golden slimes in this one. Is there anything worth getting? Not really. Oh, we know what's in the the temple ground, the sword, and the dash boots. Which is a shame, because I usually like having the dash, dash boots for the boss. But oh well. Let's go. I'm not even going to save it at the temple, because it's easy. How long have we been going? Oh. Whoop. I don't think they even had an opening animation before. Yep, there they are. Oh, you must be the one I've sensed. I think in the poorly translated he said something like, You must be one old man. Or something. Can I have that sword? I kind of need it to chop the grass. This is my quest. I'm just trying... I've just got a job. I've got to mow... I've got to mow a lawn. But you've got my sword. It's not fair. Phew! Let's no-hit the boss, just like the no-hit run. Let's not actually. 
It's still easy. What do you mean still? It never was, was it? Probably. It is a bit easy, but hard to tell if that's just because I made the game. Or what? I was wondering if this was lagging a bit, but no, it's not. Bandicam says 60 FPS. Oi! You always do shoot them out right at the ends of the screen, don't you? It's because they're overlapping his eye for longer, because as you can see his eye is wider than it is tall. So the sideways shots are overlapping his eye for longer. And the programming is like, it detects while the shots are overlapping the eye, there's a chance for them to turn into the hittable shots. Oh! Dashed right into that one. I knew that was coming, but I just wanted to try and hit it and be cool. I wouldn't have gone for it if I was actually doing a no-hit. Now that was a lot of hits. Oh. Whatever. One or two more, and then he is kill. There we go. Ah! 996. Oh, 1328. Imagine walking into the void after doing a no hit run. Luckily I didn't do that. Shining Fist, there we go. Oh yeah, I guess Dash does count as damage then, that's a shame. God. Anyway, yeah, there we go, that's Dragon Dreams HD. As previously announced, tomorrow... I might as well show this as well, just quickly. Tomorrow, the plan is to do... a, um... Corrupted run, just to show that because it's wacky and silly, and all sorts of crazy stuff can happen. Might as well grab that while I'm here as well. Upgrade the sword as well. I'm not going to play through this entirely, obviously. I just want to use the sword for a bit now. Let's dash as well. We're going to see some fire. Oh yeah, there's the traps. Those emit fire, the lava slimes emit fire. Oh look at it, it's all puffy. Puffy and stuff. I hope you like wave magic. Because get ready to see a lot of it soon. Oh look. Yeah, it just looks very nice really, doesn't it? see something else as well. Just a, a proof of concept or whatever. Yeah, that, that's still just a normal glow because that's more of, more of an artificial light or something. We have... Is it called dynamic lighting? I mean, it hasn't got shadows, but... Oh yeah, there's the spike balls, but look. The fire correctly gets put out and doesn't emit fire anymore. HD. Buy it for free. Oh, don't worry. Yes, you can relight them. It's too good. I always wanted to do that from the start, but I didn't know a good way how. But then HD update came along. Oh yeah, can also show the lava. That still has a normal glow, but you see little light puffs in it. Like it's bubbling or emitting little fireballs. Let's go down to the singed reaches, you get a better look at it there. Laters. Oh, there's a nice campfire over there. 
the slimes are having a party with a ghost, so go away. I don't know why I wanted that magic so badly. Don't do extra traps with darkness, how are you supposed to? Blub blub. Fire. Doesn't it look nice in here? You do see the lights pop on as you come in, but not really much I can do about that. It should really be a bit brighter in here, shouldn't it? Probably should have put some of those new sun lamps on the walls. A couple of those seen in the main town. Ow. Which I can show you quickly, even though you've already seen them, but you might not have noticed. Oh, never mind, I didn't... I didn't get the, um... Shrine outside. There. Bubbly puffs. Like little puffs of fire coming up from the lava. It just looks very nice around here. Anyway, yeah, that'll do it for this video. So I'll see you tomorrow for the corrupted run. Get ready for that. Oh dear. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Again, if you want to play this, links in the description. And if it gives you a false positive, don't worry, it's not. It's just the the uh, multi what is it? Click Team Fusion 2.5. Uh, currently, there's something weird about the program that the antiviruses don't like, apparently. But hopefully they'll have that patched by the time I release the Christmas one. And when they do patch it, I'll probably try and update this one as well. I might as well re-upload it, just to give people a uh, peace of mind. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for the next one if you decide to watch that too. Oh yeah, these doors are new as well. Yum. Hi lady.